We are now going to download and install a print driver for our Work Center 7855. This process will be the same for just about any Xerox printer. So, to get started, we'll go to xerox.ca or xerox.com. Under Support and Drivers, we will click, and then here we will start to type our product name. In my example, it's a 7855, so I'll type 78, and then I can just cursor down and select my product. This product has two controllers, one that's built in and one external Fiery controller. I want the built-in controller drivers, so we'll click on Drivers and Downloads. And here we are at the download page. If you want to download a different operating system, just select it here. And in this example, I want the Xerox Global Print Driver. What's nice about the Xerox Global Print Driver is it's one print driver for many, many Xerox products. And I want the Postscript Driver. So I'm going to select here. And then we'll scroll down a bit further and I'll click on Accept. And I'll click on Run. So now the file will be downloaded and then the installation program will begin. We will click on accept and install. We will say yes. In my configuration, I'm going to add a local printer. However, I'm going to create a new printing port and specify the standard TCP IP port. Click on next. I will enter in the IP address of the device and click Next. If you happen to see this message, all it's saying is at some point in time, this print driver has already been installed. So here we're just going to use the driver that's currently installed because it's the same version. We don't need to do any extra work. We'll click Next. And here I'm going to give it a different name. I'm going to call it Work Center. 7855 and I'm just going to put in brackets PS for Postscript so I know it's the Postscript driver. Click Next. I'm not going to share this printer so I can click on Next again. And it's always a good idea to print a test page just to make sure all the communication and everything is working well with your device. We'll click on Close and click on Finish. Okay. At this point our print driver has been installed and shortly we should see a message saying that our test page has printed. What we're going to do now is we are going to go to Devices and Printers and here we can see our Work Center 7855 print driver. Notice it says status, zero documents in queue. That's good. That means our test page has been sent to our Work Center. I'm going to do a right click and I'm going to come down to an as we can see in the bottom right, our test job has completed. So just to come back, I'm going to come down here to Printer Properties. And I want to click on the Configuration tab. So right now the bidirectional communication is turned on. So it will actually go out to the printer and ask the printer what installable options it has. And here we can see the list of installable options. Your product may be different. We have different finishers. We have different number of paper trays. If you leave the bidirectional always set to automatic, it will always ask the printer what options it has and update the print driver so that your print driver and your printer are always in sync. Okay, well, everything's looking good here. We can click on cancel. And that's how you download and install your Xerox print driver.